made that transition, there was a lot of concern, rightfully so, in the community. Um, rural communities, when you lose your hardware store, you lose a school, you lose a grocery store, you lose an EMS service, that's, that rocks you to your core. And a lot of towns around Lubbock have been reeling after losing their local EMS service, and more may be coming. Good evening, everybody. I'm Brian Mudd. I'm Lauren Motter. Shallow water is the latest on the list of places shutting down their EMS station. And while the city is looking for a solution, KMAX Tory Larned followed up with other cities who were once in the same boat. Tory, what did they do to solve this problem? Lauren, Brian, when I spoke to these different cities like Abernathy, Idaloo, and Slayton to see how they handled the situation, it seems many of them contracted out their services to UMC, and they said so far so good, but it's also important to remember each city has their own problems, which means they won't all have the same solutions. It became a budget issue with us, and it was crippling. A lot of it was financial, but too, we felt that with UMC running and everything and, and full-time down here would keep a... Uh, you know, better service for our people. For communities in small towns, losing EMS services can be scary. People were afraid that, you know, if we let them take over, they're going to pull the ambulances out of here and they'll be res responding from Lubbock and everything else, and you're looking at long response times. But with budget and staffing concerns, change was necessary for towns like Slayton and Abernathy. Now they contract out with UMC. This means UMC supplies paramedics, trucks, and supplies to that city while the city provides the rest. We do furnish a facility for UMC to, to house their truck here and everything else, but they were, they were never any talk of them removing a truck from the city. Sergio Mall, a paramedic for UMC, says while each city has to make its own decision, paramedics close by should be part of that answer. It is extremely important as far as saving someone's life um, because we are able to provide a higher level of care, intubating, uh, shocking, uh, providing medications that could even prevent someone from dying. For Slayton, letting UMC step in <laughs> saved them money. It was about a quarter million dollars a year savings. And for Abernathy, it helped keep the city staffed with fully trained paramedics. The level of training, we know that they uphold that to the highest standards that, that they could possibly do that with. While their citizens were skeptical at first, they say it's working out for the best. We get excellent service for our people, our response times are still way under six minutes here in the city. Everything that I gather with it, they're very pleased with the service that we have here. Now, when we reached out to Shallow Water, they said they're exploring some different options, and UMC says they're meeting with Shallow Water in September to discuss some of those. No matter what, UMC also said these cities will get the coverage they need. Lauren.